Abby is officially going to get her braces on and we want one final before. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a smile. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. This starts the process, which is the exciting part. But we're late. Um, it's before school for Ashley, so she's with us. But um, we're a little bit late. We're going to go in. Um, but yeah, this is the start of the process for her. She actually has to get a tooth pulled as soon as she gets these braces Four. put on. Four teeth pulled as soon as the braces come on. It's a whole process. We'll be right back. I gotta take her in. All right. Just dropped Ashley back at school. She's only like 10 minutes late for school, but man. <sighs> anxiety, especially childhood anxiety, is stressful for all. <laughs> I'll say I should have put makeup on today, but I really don't have any plans. I'm just waiting now for Abby to get done. They said I could technically go and be in and sit next to her, but the seat is literally like this narrow. It's really uncomfortable. I don't need to sit there and watch her. They're not going to let me film her getting them put on and she gets uncomfortable with people are watching her. So I might go and buy a gift for Jacob. I've been trying to find it. <laughs> I found it on TikTok the other day and I was like, I have to have this for him. And he might get this gift early um, if I can find it and then I'll get him something else for Christmas. This is Kaylee's boyfriend, my daughter's boyfriend, by the way. Anxiety is crippling and it's, I think, I know it's harder, well, it, actual illnesses have their own drawbacks and their own hardships, I get that. But not being able to like physically see anxiety, to know that that's actually what's going on is hard. To actually like see past all the anger and the frustration and the slammed doors and the screaming and the the nasty words to mom you know it's hard to see past that and say this is anxiety this is not just attitude and I can I can see right past it I can sense it before she's even in my room in the morning I it's like in her walk I'm like oh here comes anxiety. It's going to come and knock on my door this morning. So I'm learning to see the signs ahead of time and embrace myself to not react and not, you know, allow her to work through that anxiety. But it full force ahead today and we just took Ashley with us instead of dropping her off at the bus stop and let Ashley calm down and she was able to talk to me about it in the car. And I took her to go get McDonald's and it's not about bribing her to go to school, it's letting her like decompress and get to a space where she can actually like verbalize that anxiety and what we can do to like work through it. And we are learning, she is learning. She is very vocal and understanding this process. She is highly triggered by extended weekends. Whether she's triggered today, like a Thursday when she doesn't have school tomorrow and then she knows she's going to have a long weekend or she's triggered on a Monday after she's had a long weekend, she knows and recognizes that trigger of getting extra time at home and then not wanting to go to school um, and having that separation from me and from home. And so she's starting to recognize that trigger and that's what it was today. She's, we have an extended weekend, it's Veterans Day tomorrow and at least she recognizes that and is able to like verbalize it and I knew she had to get herself to that point this morning and that's why I brought her with me and let her calm down in this way um, rather than you know just it's just hard but she's learning at the age of nine what her triggers are for anxiety which I think is amazing for her to do this and we're working with the counselors at the school to set up a plan uh, and it's just unfortunate this her teacher was out sick last week and then we have a short week this week so we aren't able to time meetings with all involved um, but I did talk to her therapist last night and he has an excellent plan in place um, to send to the school for them to do while she's here at school that is in conjunction with what we're doing with him at home so a little about um, parenting with anxiety ridden kids is not easy but I also know it's important and necessary to do so I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh I've been chatting with a whole bunch of you in the comment section about how many times I've gone to Hobby Lobby after not going to Hobby Lobby for a whole year um, yeah this is like my seventh time going to Hobby Lobby oh well it is what it is 
gotta find a gift when you know what you want to get it, get someone, right? And that seems a strange place to get a gift, but that's where people have said it, this thing is. And I actually will show it to you. If I find it, I'm gonna show it to you so you understand why I'm making the effort. Okay, this is the closest I can find. I can't find the dog I wanted. It's a, it's a, tr a tree rex. Get it? It's a tree. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I need to get it for him. It's a tree rex. I couldn't even make a decision. I'm trying to send a, a video of it to Kaylee to see if she thinks I should buy it. But Abby's done. So I have to go and get her and take her to school. I'm kind of like thinking I need to get that now. But it's not as funny as the other one. So I've got to like do some Google searches to see if I can find. It's a, it's a dog, I think. And it sings a song. But on the end of every little line, you know, I think it sings, Merry, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And then, and a Happy New Year. <laughs> hilarious wrong side of the car it's hilarious oh his personality of like he loves Christmas he's already mad at me this is Jacob Kaylee's boyfriend he's already mad at me for not having decorated for Christmas yet he's like what were you doing all weekend I don't understand how come you don't have Christmas up yet because <laughs> him and his mom decorated their whole house over the weekend and so it's perfect like because it's Christmassy but then it has a spark of Jacob's attitude and his, I don't know, we, we just have a fun, like, you know, kind of a jabbing relationship with each other, so it's kind of like, ah! <laughs> oh, I will try and find a video of it um, and either link it down below. It's on TikTok if you have TikTok, um, but maybe I'll try and do a screen recording of it because it's hilarious and I need to find this dog. But that tree was $60, um, $50, and I need to get it on sale. It's at 60% off right now. <laughs> so I need to make a decision. They only have two left if I'm gonna buy it. So I might be coming back here after I pick up Abby, but let's go and get her. Okay, what do you think? <laughs> it's weird, huh? Yeah. It's just weird. It is just like an awkward, you know, feeling to have them on and then, but I would use the wax. They told me not to use it for a little while. So oh really? Get used to it. Okay. As soon as you can feel it starting to give you like blisters and stuff. Oh. On all three of those. And then they have to put that, that metal thing on that back tooth on yeah. all of the other ones. Oh, okay. Because they couldn't fit them. There were too, Your there teeth are too big? Oh, the, uh, no. They literally couldn't squeeze them in. I was like, because they have you bite down whenever trying to shove it in between. It oh, the bracket. Ahead. Oh wow. It wouldn't go in between my teeth. Oh, is that, I wonder if those are just spacers and then they can do it later. Yeah, that's what they are. The bands okay. are just spacers. Okay. Usually they do spacers first and then they give that gives room to put those on, but do it differently now. All right, four stores later, I have cold medicine for a kid who I don't know for sure if she's actually sick. Prescription KT tape for Kaylee for her PT. Little chapstick. I got these for water bottles. I found that at Marshalls or Home Goods or whatever. And a butter tray. It's plain white. That'll look great in the kitchen for the holidays. Two little Christmas presents over here. And I've already had a Coke before 9 a.m. So that's how my day is going so far. And I just saw chocolate milk is still in the back seat back there. That's fantastic. It's been there for a couple hours. I'm gonna go home. I have literally been to Marshalls, Home Goods, um, Target where I'm at right now <sighs> one I'm on the search for like Christmas presents and two I'm on the search for like KT tape for Kaylee and things like that you're kind of crooked sorry about that um, you know there's something to be said about Amazon I love shopping don't get me wrong but like I searched all over um, home goods for something I want to get Jacob two things that I've been looking for him I've been to three stores for hit that boy um, he better be good for Christmas is all I have to say, but I looked for it online and I was like, dude, it's on Amazon. Like, why, why am I taking, the dog is not on Amazon. I have not found the dog, but I have been looking for something else and I'm like, you know what? Jason gives me a hard time about Amazon, but it is the place. I have a whole order. I'm just, 
adding to cart, adding to cart, adding to cart. And I'm just gonna do one or two giant holiday orders on Amazon. Um, and then I have a few on other online sites that my kids want stuff from. I'm like, I don't even care. Like if they know exactly what they want and I can get it on Amazon or online, done. No more of this playing games. So anyway, I'm gonna go home and sit on the internet. I'm literally gonna turn on, hopefully a holiday show, and I'm literally going to shop. I'm just going to start researching all these things that I need to get, and, and I'm just gonna shop from home, because I have gone to five stores now, including getting braces on for Kay, Abby and dealing with Ashley, and it's one. It's one o'clock. I need to go home and eat the rest of my Cafe Rio and peruse the internet for the rest of the day. Luckily, it's like a Friday. So I don't actually need to like <laughs> keep Ashley. Ashley's the only one I have to make sure I keep on schedule, uh, especially on a school night. But I don't care. And actually, I just ran into the mom of and the little girl that she had a play date with yesterday. That little girl has an ear infection today, so she's home from school, which could be that Abby Ashley is getting sick and maybe that's why she's not responding correctly but she's like well she'll be around for the iPad games <laughs> she's home all weekend we're not going anywhere so at least Ashley will be able to hang out with her online and be occupied that way but I might have Ashley go and see if she wants to go and walk my friend's dog over the weekend just for fun like just to have something to do get outside take Daisy to the park let her run around I'm, I'm gonna suggest that like not to get paid or anything but just to get outside go for a quick walk play with the dog these animals they bring my kids joy but just not gonna get one for us but I'm headed home I'm I'm done and I'm sure you're sick of seeing me in the car um, I did get something for myself no I won't show you all right here we are at home here is the butter dish I got. I actually really like it, especially because it has a handle. I hate having to pick up the other one. <laughs> the butter dish is so slippery. This will be a lot better. So let's go and put, actually I'm gonna wash it, but it will look really good over there on the little tray. See, this isn't gonna work for me for the holidays. It'll work for now. Well, I have quite the shopping carts going on two different websites, Amazon and one more. Um, and I have watched a few episodes of The Great British Baking Show. I've watched a movie called, I don't even know. Um, but I've gotten two alerts that I haven't stood up, <laughs> like with my phone uh, on my, or my watch. I have like achievements with my fitness or whatever. I have bypassed two stand up. <laughs> alerts but I am I'm, I'm busy I am checking things off of Christmas lists you want to see my cute little Christmas pages so uh, I've got one here for Ashley and then this is Chelsea's list and then on that page I have Abby and then I haven't created Kaylee's really I'm just making a, a basic list for Abby because all of hers is a link on um yeah, you know. on notes in fact i just barely got it to pull up on my computer you can't keep looking over there my friend but we have to go get dad's car right we have to go get your car abby are you coming with us what's the plan we need to go and get abby some food that she can eat she wants to visually see stuff at the store oh, grocery shopping right and you can come back home well no we all have to stay together if yeah Cause we'll have, oh no, we'll have two cars. So someone can, you can go back home if you want. We need to go get your car from, let me turn this off <coughs> and explain to, <coughs> mansplain this to you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you have a good day though? Yeah, it was good, it was good. Good. Well, we didn't get the car. I read the invoice wrong, right? But dad lets me drive the car when the girls are with me because he wants to look like the good dad, right? What? You want to look like the good guy when the girls are with me <laughs> and let me drive the car. No. Yes. 
Okay, we're back at home. Can anyone guess what Jason's gonna do tomorrow? Take be a man. Be a man. Where are you going this time? Uh, Humpback Ridge. Humpback Ridge, and you're going with a friend, right? Yeah. You're going hiking with him for the first time. You've never gone with him before. No, no. He's kind of just recently gotten into it, but he's in. The you're industry. like you're taking. Oh, no, I'm gonna take a couple cookies out and put into my other little thing. So I have a few. I mean, you can share with him. We don't have bread. We don't have, I can't make peanut butter jelly sandwich, so. Yeah, because one loaf of bread was the same cost as four times as much at Costco. I just, I've been working. I don't have as much resources. You don't, you've been working? You don't have as much resources? I, I usually go and get more trail snacks and stuff. You mean M&M's and the store we were just at? See, I was flustered because I, I came straight home from work and I had to go. You're out. hungry you're and you're angry. Yep, yep, exactly. That's why we didn't film because he was like, we have to get in and out of here. But if you had thought about it, you're going to leave early and go get, get snacks then. No. I guarantee you. No. But you're getting up, at, you're going to be, you have to get up here, like up at like 4 to get out of here by 4.30 to get to North Bend by 5. Yeah. Yeah, that's harsh. <laughs> Sorry. I'll be sleeping in. By the time you come home, you can help the kids do their chores. <laughs> <laughs> So we mainly went to the store. I don't know if I said it or not, but Abby needed to get stuff that she could eat. Um, I ran out of pickles. The pickles that I have in the fridge are Jacob's, so I'm not allowed to eat those. They're for him, um, and he likes spicy pickles. But we got peaches. I do have peaches, like canned peaches, but um, they're not bad. They're just like are discolored, like they just kind of got browned, and so they work better for like peach sauce rather than just eating. So we got her some, what are these ones? These ones are, yeah, peaches for school. This is for her school next week. And this is for here at home this weekend. We also got some blueberry mix. Ash Ashley's gonna make those in the morning. Um, I just, she's already starting to hurt and recognizing she needs to eat things that are very soft <laughs> and just kind of mush with your tongue and swallow. So I think she found, she found plenty to eat tonight, right Jace? What? Abby found plenty to eat tonight, right? Oh, yep, she made jello. You see that? Smart girl. She's gonna have a lot of jello. And we got her some, oh, yep, she even marked it. Abby's Propel. Uh, we forgot to get, um, actually they didn't have it. They didn't have the vitamin water at Costco when we were there on Monday. And we aren't going to Costco until next Monday. Jason says he wants to go tomorrow, but every time we go, it's a hundred bucks. If you go on Friday and on Monday, then you're screwed. <laughs> so. Trying to not go both times, but he might have to go get some. What did you need at work? Trash bags and. Trash bags and then uh, lotion. Oh, we forgot lotion because he didn't pull out his list right before we left Costco on Monday. Got to double check your list. And I have to go back to Target. This is the wrong thing. It's not actually the, the generic version of KT tape, which is annoying because it's sitting right by the KT tape. So, I don't know why I'm cleaning the kitchen. I'm supposed to cleaning everyone else's messes up. None of these messes are mine. I haven't been in the kitchen. So, that's probably hot chocolate. I'm gonna sign off with you guys. Abby's doing good with her braces. Um, it's an adjustment period, and she doesn't like to be on the channel very much anyway. She's willing to show them because it's a start of a good process, and uh, we'll get her four teeth taken out here soon, probably in the next couple weeks. And then, luckily, hopefully I'll be able to call her, hopefully I'll be able to call her surgeon and schedule that surgery. That will be, we have one, we need to just have that on the books to know how to plan our vacations this summer, if we even get to go on a vacation. Her recovery might be so difficult and timing wise, we may not actually get to go, which he might be happy about saving on gas. So, all right, you're all packed up? Yeah, getting things staged. Good. You need to you need to home. kind of show him some of these. Yeah, we've been talking and stuff. Some of the he's gear that's like idea. better for like water the repellent. The problem is they don't make them in his size. I know. He's a big guy. <laughs> he's a and big guy. Stuff is made and he's in really guy. good shape right now, yeah. but he's still like, how tall is he? Like six, he's like six or something. He's yeah. so tall. Just a big he's, guy. He's a big guy, and he's the one who did the 
Seattle to Portland bike ride for three days. Um, so he's in really good shape and he just really wants to be able to start hiking and doing that kind of stuff with Jason. Um, but the gear stuff is new to him for that kind of stuff. And so Jason's gonna go and show him his ex expertise. Sure thing. Okay, we're gonna sign off with you guys. Take care and see you guys next time. the magic places in the world I've been to. This is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.